Yake, The Boss-Worker Relationship Paradox What should I do? After one of them leaves, in 90% of cases the worker leaves, does the friendship remain? Although both of them suffer, one financially and other emotionally. A truthful joke that I know since I was a kid, said to salute and keep your relations with school colleagues, or the kids on the block, because one day, one of them will be your boss, and you? You will be his half-slave poor worker, the half-slave is the elephant in the room for this kind of relations and no one wants to accept. I have the attic full of thanks, paper diplomas for the best worker and beautiful compliments. These things doesn't motivate me to continue to be, here. We start with the three important rules, 1. Keep the rational distance when you decide to work for your rich friend, life facts will change your relation through time. 2. The social level between you is real, even if one of you is silly and believe there isn't. 3. The more you depend on the other person, the harder circumstances of separation you will have. It's true that some people marry their boss friend, but today's talk is about real people and real life circumstances. This talk is about emotions, money issues and lesson you can avoid, and choose wisely, why repeat the mistakes and ignorance of other people. When you can work with freedom and do other mistakes, learn other lessons. The Paradox of Boss Worker Friendship Welcome to Enrich Talks, a collection of truth. This is our relation story and many people on this planet feel the same. We know each other before you started your company, and you told me that you will hire me, because you need someone to trust and who thinks like you. The company has grown, more workers, more money, more stress, more responsibilities, less time for the important things. Me as worker, I rented a property from you, the car I drive, is the nicest company's car but with the price of being available when you need a drive, any hour. A friend of yours, also business owner, had a girl who was single, and you arrange me a date with her, now I am married with her. Based on our friendship when I got married, I choose you and your wife, to be our godparents, a good family example and counselors. Today, I asked for some deductible time, to work like I worked until today, even with the unpaid extra hours but to change the program of working, and you know the reasons why I am asking this, and you said no. I have scarfs and memories, regarding work, late night shifts, things that were not my job tasks, things that almost humiliated me, moments when I cried, and wanted to quit, but I stayed. I know my monthly salary, you know my salary, and you know that no one will work for you for these little money, and the work I do, sometimes the work of two people. The saying, I have the attic full of thanks, paper diplomas and beautiful compliments, these things doesn't motivate, and will never pay the bills, or the publicity of the company, the image regarding this business, outside of the factory walls. The truth is that potential future workers in this company, are running away from this job. Because they see how things work, the capital of image of the company, they ask a friend who work here, you don't recommend some jobs, even to your enemies, although friends. We are in a point when, even money are not enough, I could live with less money, but with more time and less stress. I have been loyal, a good friend, a good colleague, a good family member, always present, I do the 80% work, I wanted this, my choice, it's true. And you collect all the money, for the stress you have, and the work you do, you worth it all, but think about me. Let's find a way to remain together, here in this company, because the person who will replace me, will be a stranger, will ask more money and will come with new working rules, and you need someone in this position, and you don't find quality workers at the street corner, and trustworthy. In the past, you have asked me what are my intentions? I said, I will work here until retirement. I didn't know things will get ugly, our relation will grow in this direction. And if I go, I will remain without a car, I must move to another place to live, I will no longer be the image of this company, a hard decision to take, and also our relationship and family relation will deteriorate more. And you continue to force my limits every day, as your formal slave, I must do what you command, 
whatever you say, you have the power. This was the story. The lessons are from the social level, a multi-millionaire and a worker owning $12,000 per year, and the job is in management position, is an example, cruel reality in some countries. We are friends until the price of bread has doubled, and my salary just with 5%, and I have offers from other companies, offering higher salary, but I will be a stranger there, emotionless, just working. Another lesson is that people choose to leave, and you cannot force them to stay, they move to other cities, other jobs, other communities, they choose to change their life, and you don't have a place in their new life. This is life. Cheers to a new success. Yes, only your success. Only you feel it, for the rest of us, just more work. Cheers to our friendship. Yeah, our past friendship, this is no longer what the word means. Don't trust people like a stupid silly person, time will change you and them, you must establish limits before things get ugly, or we get attached by each other. People will always choose themselves, their family and those who can help them in need, or skilled people, after all these people, they will choose you, a friend, a loyal worker. You have in the description of this video three talks about negotiation, strangers and the paradox of work. Emil Truthman salutes you, stay safe and be rational in the boss-worker relationship, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.